And we are going to go to Cap's Corner, brought to you by our great partners at Great Clips, and talk with Cubs outfielder off to a great start. He is Ian Happ at Wrigley Field. Ian, let's talk about your start to your season. Off to a very good start offensively. Yeah, just seeing the ball well, uh, trying to have good at bats out here. We have a, a really good lineup that's been hitting pretty well together, so just trying to be a piece of that. What is it like for you in the offseason? You worked extremely hard and got off to a great start here the other night. You come up first and second, nobody out. First and second, one out. First and second, two outs. And then you handle, I think it was a changeup, punch it to left field. And I saw the emotion watching you coming around first, like how fired up you were. Take us through that at bat and what you did all winter to get prepared for that. Yeah, I think, um, you know, a lot of stuff was a continuation of last year. Had a, a really good finish to the season uh, and trying to build upon that, trying to use those things um, to really start off this year hot. The right-handed stuff was really, really good at the end of last year. Uh, and so that at bat specifically, you know, trying to get a pitch I could handle uh, and get in the air, uh, fought off some really good ones, uh, and then able to get a pitch that I could kind of punch out there. And that emotion comes from coming through for the boys. I think that's like the biggest part of this game uh, with how much the analytics and everything has gone into it. You know, there's still an art to being able to drive in runs in some of those sticky situations and coming through. Uh, something I've worked really hard on in my career. Uh, I got to watch a lot of guys who are really good at it. Uh, and that's something that I take a lot of pride in. You also are unusual. I've covered sports in this town for a long time, and most athletes, give me my check every other Friday, tell me who I'm playing against, get me in the gym, and then that's it. You are involved. you got the Compound Podcast, which I, I listen to, a lot of my friends listen to. You also are part owner of a coffee company, and I drink your coffee. Connect Roasters. I've got a bag in my hand. Explain where the diversity of thought comes from and tell us about the coffee. Yeah, I mean, it's something that started for me at an early age. I went to school to be a finance major. Uh, my brother um, you know, played baseball in college and then went to, to Notre Dame and got his MBA. So we were really fortunate when I came out of college to be able to kind of explore these things together in an interesting way, use the platform uh, in the city uh, and the amazing connections and fan base that we have here to, to build some exciting things. Uh, and Connect has been a huge part of that. You know, the founder, Caleb, has been absolutely uh, a rock star. And to be able to help um, grow that company, which I found as some of the best coffee I've ever tasted in my life, and said, there's more people need to know about this. So to use the platform to show people uh, the coffee and then give back to the community. You know, a dollar for every pound roasted goes to the food bank here to save the children uh, nationally and globally. And then we work with the First Tee as well, a golf charity here in town, um, helping out kids all over the city. So to be able to do that stuff, not only to spread really good coffee to people and, and uh, get it on people's tables, but to also give back to the community has been a special effort. Yeah, one of my kids, my son Garrett, is, as he puts it, I'm a coffee snob and got him a bag of this coffee. He's like, okay, that's legit. Are you a coffee snob? Oh yeah, big time. And I was before, so um, I, that was one of my big things on the road, was always going and finding the best coffee shop, having a pour over in the morning, uh, enjoying good coffee around the country. And so in 2020, uh, Caleb sent me a couple bags and when I tasted uh, the Connect stuff for the first time, it was like, wow, this is really, really good stuff. Uh, and to be able to be a part of it, kind of grow the way we have uh, and, and show it to more people throughout the city is super exciting. Um, you know, we're in all the Foxtrot locations here in town, uh, Dom's Market. We're looking at some other places to expand. We got uh, the beans at the Obvious store right around the corner here on uh, Grace and Clark. And so just to be able to spread that message and, and hopefully educate some people about some really good coffee. It's It's been a fun experience. All right, connectroasters.com, and you can get the bags at the Obvious Shirt Store. Our guy Joe Johnson there as well. They make amazing stuff. Before I let you go, talk about the challenge. This is your hometown team you're playing against. You're a Pittsburgh kid. You got the Pirates for four. 
Yeah, I mean, the Pirates, they, they've uh, got off to a pretty good start. I think we, you know, we faced them at their place, and uh, they, they held us to a couple of runs both days um, with a, a pretty interesting mix of pitches, a lot of off-speed stuff. I think for us as an offense, the challenge is to go out there, keep doing what we're doing, put together good at-bats, um, and, and really try to wear down a pitching staff for four games. I think in the division especially, having that opportunity to go out not just – for two times against these guys, but to really put together a four-game series, what that means for getting into the bullpen early uh, and kind of pushing that uh, throughout the series. I think we're excited for the challenge. All right, warmer weather is coming, I think, in the next couple days. It's actually decent today. Have a great series and uh, appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Have a good one.